Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Skitchin on the Sega Mega Drive. So this is a game that I did own back in the day. And I believe it came out in between Road Rash 2 and Road Rash 3. And it is rather difficult, but once you get a grasp of how the actual game plays, it is very enjoyable. So we'll just crack straight on into the race. We've gone for that digitalised mode that was very popular in Road Rush 3. So very similar controls. There's a button to accelerate, there's a button to attack, and there's a button to grab onto the back of cars, which is what Skitchin's all about, skating down the road and grabbing onto the back of a vehicle. This is one of the first games I remember with a sort of disclaimer at the start. You know, say do not attempt this in real life and blah de da da da. Punch the right way. Let's see these off. Now, eventually, the cars do slow down, so what you've got to do is move from one car to the other. As I'm about to illustrate here. Now, it starts off fairly easy in terms of obstacles on the road. This first course, all the cars are on the left-hand side. But it becomes extremely difficult. You start getting like barbed wire across the road and all kinds of different hazards, water and oil. Which can severely slow you down. Also falling off or getting knocked down will just ruin your chances of winning especially if you're near the end of the race. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner there's actually a countdown of how many miles are left of this race. But once you've got a good momentum going like this you can literally fling yourself from one car to the other. Now you can go on the ramps and do stunts which you are awarded for but I've never managed to land one. I don't know if you have to press down or what you quite have to press in order to land probably help if I read the instruction manual. Now I don't think this is a game I had boxed years ago, so I have since acquired it in a box form, but alas I've not read the instruction manual. Also the music's got very much that 90s grunge feel to it. I'm not sure who's responsible for writing it. I'm pretty sure it's not Rob Hubbard, but go, there's the finish line. We'll take that for the first race. So I don't know if anyone will be able to tell but I've changed the scart lead on my Mega Drive and now I've got stereo sound. Also seems to be a lot brighter so I presume there's a lesser resistor in there. But from looking at the screen image it seems to have made a substantial difference. But, uh, I'll let you be the judges of that. Talk about right. We're going on a bonus track. I don't remember this at all. Which car's going to come first? You can see the rear view mirror in the centre of the screen at the bottom. Damn, I missed it. I missed that. make it to that car? No. So what you have to be very careful of is not to get hit by the cars, so it's best to either stay in the centre or at the side. But it does make a difference which way you're grabbing your hand out in order to connect to the cars. Yeah, I've missed that one one mile. Oh dear. what the whole aim of this particular mode is. Oh, not to get hit in the rear like that for certain. I think I may have dampened my chances of success. Come on. I need a van. Let's see if we can do something now. Oh, 
typical, he slowed down. Put my hand out too early. So we did finish. Let's, let's find out what this bonus scheme is all about. And nothing. Absolutely diddly squat. Now there is a shop, and with your winnings, you can buy different parts. So now, on to the next race, I've upgraded my wheels. And my skates, so maybe I'll go a little bit quicker. So very 90s styly. Perhaps a little bit embarrassing at this point. But back then it was deemed as cool, I guess. I like the way that your character changes his clothes every single race. It gives you that added level of realism. Whoa, I'm going to end up on my, on my arse. Oh! Or even worse, being hit by a car in the arse. Oh, that was close. Need to reach out the other side. It's not happening. Oh, he took a bit of a battering. It's nice to see the opposition also getting cleaned up. Don't quite make it. Two point eight miles to go. Oh, that was so close. No, I'm not getting knocked off. Got it. I'm going. I'm going ahead already. Can't believe I nearly got hit by that truck. That was extreme dangerous skitching. Yeah. But if I can get a few more vehicles ahead, could be in the safe zone here. Yeah. This is definitely one of those games that when you first start playing it, it's extremely frustrating. It seems almost impossible, you just end up getting hit by car after car after car, but once you get to grips with it, yeah. it is pretty cool. You get weapons as well, like Road Rash, and there's a huge variety of weapons. It sort of uh, unlocks more and more the further you progress in very much the same sort of vein as Road Rush. So it gives you good reason to keep playing it. Overall I would say I do prefer the Road Rush series to this, but it's a, it's a welcome addition. And you can probably pick this up on eBay for about £8 delivered. That was not the best idea, right near the finish to do that. So yeah, between eight and ten pounds you can get a copy of this. Oh my god, the car off following has got the right Mardi. Come on. Oh, it's only a third place finish there. Yeah, I'd say if you're into the Road Rush series and you're a fan of uh, electronic arts in general, this is well worth picking up. So I'm going to leave it there and I thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll load some more videos soon.